Um, I am Chris Lynn. I'm Brenda. I'm Melody. I'm Savannah. I'm Chris. And we're in Mr. R's astronomy seventh period class, and we're doing the Big Dipper. Okay. Um, the first star, well, this one right here is Mizar. The distance is 83 light years. The absolute magnitude is 0 0.33. The apparent magnitude is 2.23. The RA is 13 hours, 22 minutes, and 55.5 seconds. The declination is 55 degrees. And the star Megrez, the distance is 58 light years. The absolute magnitude is 0 0.41. Apparent magnitude is 3.31. The RA is 12 hours, 15 minutes, 25.6 seconds. And the declination is 57 degrees. distance is 123 light years. The absolute magnitude is negative 1.10. The apparent magnitude is 1.79. The RA is 11 hours, 3 minutes, 43.7 seconds. And the declination is 62 degrees. And this is the brightest star of the constellation. Doobie, did you say? Doobie, Doobie is the brightest. What's its uh, apparent magnitude again? One point seven nine. The lower the number, the brighter it is. Is that the lowest number? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. All right. Good call. One point seven seven. So Alioth looks like it might be as bright. But go ahead. All right. Uh, this star is Mer. Uh, its distance from Earth is eighty light years. Its absolute magnitude is zero point four three. The apparent magnitude is 2.37. The RA is 11 hours, 1 minute, 50.5 seconds. And its declination is 56 degrees. Uh, this one's Ecta. And this distance 83 light years. Absolute magnitude is 0.39. Mirror magnitude is 2.44. RA is 11 hours, 53 minutes, and 49.8 seconds. Declination is 54 degrees. All right, so... Uh, the story behind this was uh, the god Zeus hid the nymph uh, Callisto from his wife Hera by changing her into a bear. And her son Octus did not know that she was a bear, and while hunting, he came across Callisto. Uh, to keep Octus from accidentally killing his mother, Zeus placed them together into the sky as a big and little bear, and the nymph was the big and little dipper. And the story that uh, we made up was there was a polar bear that had a long day killing penguins and seals. So he went to take a nap on an iceberg. While well, a large piece of ice broke off the glacier and caused a huge wave to throw the polar bear into the air, he went so high up that he never came back down. <laughs> Excellent. Love that one. All right, let's hear it for him. 